Hey guys, this is SP and welcome back today to another video inside of my awesome world. And before we go and add a new fish to the fish tank, I am first going to mine these diamond ores which we collected last episode. I thought, you know what, why not do it on camera because there's something slightly satisfying about, uh, about doing that. So we're going to grab this fortune pickaxe and we are going to see how many we get from five diamond ores. I'm going to guess we get 11, okay? I don't know what your guesses are. Guess and then tell me if you got it right in the comments, okay? We have got a grand total of, it's probably about seven, isn't it? A ten! Okay, I was pretty close, guys. I was pretty close. So it's an average of two per one. That's not bad at all, is it? Right, where should we chuck these? We'll just chuck them in, in here, yeah. Good idea. Perfect, all right. Well, we're going to take uh, this fish, which is a, a, a sky blue clayfish. And we're going to take him to the fish tank and see, yeah, well, <laughs> see how he likes it there, I suppose. That's uh, that's one way of looking at it. So we're going to go and yeah, run down these stairs and then uh, we'll go and put you in the fish tank. There you go. Away he goes, the sky blue clayfish. Uh, have we got any turtles left? Just out you know, it looks like we're fresh out of turtles, guys. Um, <laughs> I don't know if they escaped or what happened, but anyway, we've, we've lost the turtles. Well, they can't escape, so who knows? Who knows? Maybe the fish ate them. I, I'm just speculating, guys. I hope that's not the case, though. Right, moving on. Let's uh, let's go and sort out. Uh, well, let's go and see what today's challenge is going to be. And apparently my recording was a bit glitchy. So you couldn't see the bottom of the hot bar, but now you can, all right? It's all right. You can see me scroll. You can see what's in here. Perfect, okay? Um, there's my reward fish. So today we well, to work to uh, well down here we go. <laughs> Don't know what I'm saying now, do I? I'm just uh, waffling a load of words. Right, let's get scanned, and we're going to be allowed through. Good stuff. Nice, uh, nice way to start. Let's get our eye scan now. Is that going to now? Well, oh, look at responsive technology for you. All right. Good morning, Sean. How are you doing, buddy? Not so responsive technology. <laughs> You're the slowest responding technology we have. All right. There we go. Let's uh, go through that door. Armor stand. I see you love pork. All right. Well, you know, look a bit more serious. Look like you're doing something good on the job. I don't know. Look, lounging about all the time. Right, hello, Miles. Do not escape. And good morning, Fred. For once, not staring at your emerald. That's uh, that's a new one. <laughs> right, today's challenge. Use loyalty tridents whilst having a full inventory. Okay, well, this is going to be a cool thing to do. I don't know if you guys have actually done this before. Um, Have you provided me with any? Okay, oh, thank goodness for that. You've given me some tridents to use. All right. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Right, uh, use lots of tridents whilst having a full inventory. I can do this. Okie dokie. Um, yeah, so if you don't know, things can get a bit crazy when you use lots of tridents with a full inventory. And, you, well, you're about to see it, okay? You're, you're going to be blown away, all right? This is going to be a challenge to remember. Okay, right, to do this properly, we're going to have to first get our uh, hot bar nice and uh, ready. Okay, I'm trying to think, yeah, there's got to be a, a way to do this. So I'm going to need to... Hmm... Let's see now. I'm going to have to throw down, like, a few things. So I'm going to throw these down. Okay, so two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we've got to yeah, throw down those nine things. And then what we've got to do is we've just got to fill up the old inventory. I don't think I threw any bricks down, did I? Okay, because that will just ruin everything. But if I... I now have a full inventory. If I run through this... I didn't pick anything up, did I? No. Oh, did I? Oh, I did. Okay, hold on. We're going to need to throw you down as well, then. <laughs> I always have to complicate things, don't I? Okay, right, let's uh, don't stand too close. All right, if we throw down that as well. Oh, no, wait, I didn't. No, I, I think I'm all right, actually. I think I'm just being stupid, guys. <laughs> Nothing new there. Right, so, we now stand here. Is there anything we can try then? I don't know. Okay, let's have a look. We just go and throw this. Okay. Now, our inventory is full again. The trident comes back, and it can't go in. So, it's like, oh, up. Oh, up. Oh. Well, what do I do? <laughs> you just have a trident following you around, which is, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Because it's like, it's trying to get in your inventory, but it just can't, okay? But then you've got to be like, well, why don't we just do it nine times? Yeah, let's, uh, you know, let's have some fun, okay? Because I didn't even realise, like, because obviously sometimes it goes back in your inventory, as you can see, if you don't pick up the item first, but a lot of the time, you're all right. Eventually, there we go. Okay, don't throw the bucket of water down. Let's just get all the tridents out there. Let's see, eventually, I'm sure. <laughs> there we go. All right, you just got to keep throwing them. And then uh, if we keep doing this one, you're about to see the abomination of the sentry, guys. It's actually, yeah, just a, such a fun thing to uh, to do. Right, let's have a look. Can we throw it? Uh, can, we, can we get rid of these tridents? I need to stop throwing them at that guy. I need to throw him past that so they go further away and take longer to come back. There we go. Come on, any second now. There we go. We've we've now got nine tridents, okay? Pork chops, I'll be back for you, okay? I'll be back, don't worry. But now, <laughs> this is uh, this is my life now. If you want to, like, run faster, you know, you can do this. Oh, I want to, like, you know, you know when you just have an urge to jump off a building or something, you know? It's just, 
I have that urge. I mean, I'm not sure you, you have that urge very often, but I kind of just want to see the tridents follow me around. Now, interestingly, they don't seem to do any damage, I don't think. Like, like if we walk into... Okay, the bees, yeah, that was convenient of you walking away, but they don't seem to damage anything because, like, they're in the, their form of returning because they're not in their throwing form. So when, when they're being thrown at something, they do hurt it, but when they're returning, they, they don't. See, look, this bee... He's fine. Look, I can't hurt him with the trident. I mean, I guess it would be kind of cool to be invincible with these tridents, but yeah, it's just a, <laughs> it's a cool effect. It's a, I, yeah, I found out about it recently and um, yeah, I kind of, uh, I kind of like doing it, but to be honest with you, yeah, let's fill up the old inventory. <laughs> let's, let's go get the pork chops. Let's crack on. We can't do that all day, can we? All right. I have just completely messed up my inventory as well, which is delightful. So we'll go and swap that to there. You to there, you to there. Okay, it's as good as it's going to get. Um, I'm going to grab my raw fish. Have we got anything in here at the moment? No, okay. Let's go and put these tridents in here. I mean, I kind of want to keep all these tridents, but Fred can have them for now. So, we'll go and uh, grab me raw fish. I'll have a bit of pre-breakfast reward fish. So, I'll have a bit of pork chops to start. And a nice reward fish. Delicious. Worth every second. And that was actually a very fun challenge too. So, that's, uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the thing that you can do. Now, next, I wonder what I want to do is crack on with what we're doing today. The building work, okay? Today I'm going to be doing a build that is just full of loads of things that are just satisfying in Minecraft. You, you know the thing, in fact, what we just done was pretty a pretty satisfying thing to do, to have loads of tridents following you, but this is just going to have all those those things that you just like doing in Minecraft or like seeing in Minecraft. We're going to be having those in here, okay? So I've kind of built the, uh, the bare bones of the room, if you like. I mean, we've even got a random water pool there for some reason. So yeah, what we're going to be doing is fleshing it out though, filling in all the... Uh, all the things that need uh, need to be done in it. So, the first thing that I want to do is grab myself some stone bricks, and we're just going to get the old the old flooring. You know, this is probably the least satisfying thing that we could be doing today. But once you see the things I've got planned, all right, you will be impressed. Okay, I'm sure at least a few of these things you'll think, ah, you know, what? I like that. I like that's something that's just nice to do in Minecraft. Okay, satisfying to do. So we're going to go and just fill in all of this along here first. All right, I will just leave that there. Like that though. Okay, perfect. And then also I've got these purple concretes, which are just going to go along here like this. Just to fill in the extra gaps like that. And I'll probably have them on, yeah, we'll have them on both sides. So that's 25 on this side. Let's just run back. Okay. I won't fill in again. I've, I've got this pool of water because I will need infinite water source for the first couple of bits. So there we go. All right. We're now trapped in here. So let's just uh, escape. So the first, the first thing that's kind of satisfying and kind of cool is bouncy sand okay you ever, have you ever done bouncy sand in minecraft all right well something tells me that that answer could be no for you and i am about to rectify that so we're going to go and put bricks around here like so okay grab a few more bricks uh, we're also going to grab some glowstone so let's go and grab all of that perfect and fill in that fill in that there we don't want anybody looking through what's going on here and fill in that okay so we'll also need to grab soul sand for this to work so if we go in here there we go, soul sand all the way across, and same here, okay. So now we've got this, this soul sand situation going on, can I actually get out of here? It looks like I'll never escape, okay. <laughs> but can you kind of see what's going on though, alright? Uh, what 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 else do I need to do with it? I, I need to get, now this is where I use this water that I uh, created an infinite water source for, so if we just go and fill that in there, okay. And I'm guessing if we go like that, will that make an infinite water source there? No, okay, it won't because it's the natures of how it works, but it should. Still, will it all fill up? I think it should do. I'm hoping. Okay, all filled up. Perfect. So we've got like that. Yeah, great stuff. Okay, brilliant. All right. So the next thing you do is you get your lantern and you put that in the middle. That's nothing to do with actually the important part. And then you just you place sand. Like or, to be honest, I think it might be better if I actually put the slabs in first and then place the sla sand on the slabs. I'm gonna have some slabs like this as well. There we go. Because otherwise it just looks weird around the glowstone and stuff. So yeah, if we just go like this. And as you can see, we now have bouncy sand. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, the frame rate's uh, loving that. All right. But it is it is bouncing about. Okay. You can try this. There we go. Look at this. Beautiful. It's <laughs> it's just a kind of satisfying thing in uh, in Minecraft. And sticking with that water theme, we're also going to need to bring up uh, these sides as well a little bit. So we just go like that. There we go. Perfect. And the same... On this side, same on this side, and then slabs right the way around. Okay, uh, I need to make sure I don't fall in the water because there will be no escape for me this time. <laughs> well, without mining my way out anyway. So this one is again uh, to do with water, as you can see. So if we just go and fill in all of this water here, 
Um, although I'm not going to have it running all the time because it's a bit noisy, okay? And, and when it's noisy, it's not satisfying, all right? Um, but again, it's, it involves soul sand, so that round there like that. Also involves, well, my, 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 my plan, okay? So uh, I need an item frame and a boat, and I, I, I left some extra materials in here. Don't you worry, okay? Uh, I've got the item frame. Did I not bring a boat? Okay, apparently I, I forgot to bring a boat. All right, just, just hold your horses. We're going to have to go and get a boat here, guys. <laughs> to see what this next one is going to be, all right? You're just going to have to, yeah, give me uh, give me one momento. So we'll go, uh, we'll, we can go craft a boat. That's not a problem. Okay, well, actually, I probably have boats in chests over here. I just can't remember which chest. I think maybe the shulker box. First shulker box on the right. Are you ready, guys? That's my guess, okay? Will that be correct? Apparently, I can't even get into that shulker box because some idiot decided it would be a good idea to place an ender chest on top of it. It was in there, though. <laughs> well, at least I was right about that. Okay, you go on there instead. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm proud of myself for guessing it right, if nothing else, okay? So, this is a, like a, this is a, this is a satisfying thing to look at, but not a satisfying thing to listen to, okay? That's all I'm going to say. I mean, you, you won't understand it at first, but you'll soon realise it's an absolutely noisy thing that you just do not want to hear all the time. But it's still, still kind of cool. So, place that there. All right, and it is the uh, the wobbling boat, which I, you know, something about it, I just like it, okay? I just, I like the uh, the wobbling boat, all right? Um, however, it is very noisy, so nice look at, enjoy it. Look at all the bubbles going on, the water splashing, but um, yeah, we're going we're gonna to pick it up and put it in the iron frame. So if we ever want to see it, we can, or maybe when I'm not around, I'll do it, but when I'm in here, I'll peace and quiet, please. <laughs> I'm gonna fill in putting that finish putting these uh, bits of concrete in as well. I suppose it makes sense rather than just having them in my inventory all the time. So just those in there, perfect. Those in there, and then is the final one. Yeah, for some reason I just walk right past this bit. There we go. And then okay, so we've done that one. Uh, this one in here, we're going to have this all the way around like this. There we go. I've got a nice little marker system because I have have myself the glass and that. So what we'll do is we'll put this on here. This is something. It's a bit sad for the uh, the thing being used, but uh, <laughs> it's a sad life, but they, they, you know what? They sign up for this all the time. So I need to put a... Um, I put a okay, I'm trying to... So basically, it's going to be a snow golem in here, and it's just going to be like that that process of constantly mining snow, you know, which is just a nice, uh, nice thing to do. So uh, let me have a look. So if I go like... Oh, no, I've messed this up. I've messed... I have, I have now messed this. No, I haven't. Wait, it's it's savable. Okay, just need to take a bit of the roof out. <laughs> I have trust me to always make things hard work, isn't it? Right. Although if we go like this, and like this, ta da! Okay, I thought I was going to have to get more snow, but we're all right because we can put that there. And then we're going to put a little lantern above his head so he can see what he's doing. Alrighty. So this next thing, very satisfying indeed. Okay. Are you ready for it? I'm sorry. Tell me that is not just a satisfying thing to do in Minecraft, guys. Just mining snow at the speed of sound and it keeps coming back and it's just brilliant. It, it, we, we all know it is. Okay, right. Uh, this is this is, this is is planned to be the chest uh, of snowballs, but for now, it's obviously, it's the chest of well, redstone, apparently. Chest of junk. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be doing a bit of swapping about here and, uh, well, namely putting snowballs in there. Maybe I should create some little lava bin, actually. I didn't think this through, did I? Because, honestly, we do not have the... The space for, well, you see, we just did that once and we filled up a load of snowballs. So, yeah, that's that's the fun that uh, awaits in this one. So, if we just go fill that in there, perfect. Same on this side. Just make it look nice. Okay, this room is complete. Uh, I do want to put a lantern up here as well. There we go, that's complete. Uh, did I put a lantern in this one? I didn't build that one, that's why I didn't put a lantern in that one. Uh, let's have a little munch on some pork chops. Okay. And we'll then, we're going to put some lanterns along the outside here as well because... You can't beat a bit of outside lighting, I would say. Or indoor light. Okay, we're definitely not outside, I just remembered. <laughs> a bit of indoor lighting never hurt anybody. So we'll go like that. And then we should have 11 left, which I think is the right amount. If we, if everything's going to plan. So that, like that, perfect. All right, we've got, oh, we've got two left. Okay, which means there's one there. And one there. And I guess I don't need lanterns for the other bits. No, because there's going to be redstone. There. Okay, perfect. That's, that's all as it should be. So this here is a pretty... It's a pretty different one as well, actually. Uh, so, I don't know. So, something else satisfying. Slime jumps, okay? Imagine doing a slime jump all the way to bedrock. Well, you don't have to do that now because we are about to... Uh, we're about to do that. So, if we just go and... 
Fill it. Oh, wrong block. I meant to get the slabs out. Yeah, if we just go and fill in some slabs along here. Slabs there like that. Perfect. Just make it look nice. Okay. Um, do you think I should... Okay, I was... You know what? I need to actually get the slime before I go down there. <laughs> that might be a good idea. So we're going to you, you, you. Uh, I think that's all. Yeah, slime, glowstone. Uh, did we get a pressure plate? Yeah, we've got a door. Okay, that's everything. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm going to use a water bucket to go down. Okay, I'm just going to you know, do it the safe way. All right. I'm not about this life of, of death. Okay. He says. <laughs> then jumps down. Uh, so, yeah, down at the bottom here, we're going to have a bit of... Hello. <laughs> Welcome, water. You're late. Uh, we're going to have a door and then we're going to have a pressure plate. Uh, so we're going to go like this and we're going to place the pressure plate right here. And you'll you'll soon see how amazing this uh, this process is. So if we go like this up here, we're also going to need a bit of extra because you'll see why I've got this here. Uh, it's just so that, you know, there's something about bouncing and landing on a platform and uh, that's what's going to be happening. OK, so we've got this. Nice situation. I've just made the door at the bottom in case you get stuck down at the bottom because there'll be somebody who, who would do this and, and get stuck. But go down here. I don't know. I find that kind of cool. Okay. I just find it's kind of satisfying. I mean, it's not like the, the best thing in the world here, but I think it's a uh, a cool thing. All right. So cool that I'm going to do it again. All right. Here we go. <laughs> you hit it. Ba -doing. Ba -doing. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Okay, <laughs> but moving on. All right, we've we've got even better things. All right, these some of these things. Yeah, make that look like nothing. Okay, I mean this next one probably not one of those things, but still cool. Uh, if you watched the last episode, you will know what this one is. If you didn't watch the last episode, you might still know what this one is somehow, but I don't know how. Right, so we'll go and put this in here. Okay, we have two more bits of glowstone. Is, it, uh, is this the last? The last of the glowstone. Right, so we're we'll going to get water. All right, we've got a bit of a trek on our hands to get water. All right, but that, I think that's all the water we actually need now. I think I said that last time, but this time, I promise, and this time we actually have an infinite water source as well. Perfect. So, if we then go and place... Okay, we need to get some more stuff here. Uh, more materials. Let's grab that and that. All righty. And then these last things, yeah. I think they kind of go... Mm, let's grab... Let's grab these extra things here as well. Because we might need... Yeah, we're going to need a few... Okay, perfect. And I'll get the, the the final things when I need them. So, just like that. Water on fire. I don't know. I like it. Kind of cool. Kind of quirky. Got a proper place for it now. Uh, last episode, I kind of showed that though. So, you might have seen it. Or you might not have done. It also depends if you watched the last video. Right, we're going to put a lever here. Okay, now this next bit. Let's first actually go and put some blocks. We are going to have to get rid of these blocks at some point. But, uh, well, <laughs> pretty much straight after. Because there's going to need to be a redstone on them. But dispensers okay like that beautiful okay things are gonna get a bit noisy with this one but it's not gonna be like annoying noisy like the other one okay and then uh we're going to okay you know what you, you know you ever get that feeling like you've just somehow not got enough bricks oh because i put them up there <sighs> i'm always doing something stupid aren't i <laughs> right i'll go and put, get those back and then uh, we can place those down there but we are going to need a bit of redstone running up here so just like this okay and then we're going to need a fancy little gadget. Uh, I need a comparator. I think, yeah, that's all I'm going to need. So, comparator goes like this, I think. And that goes like that. And then that goes around there. And I think, yeah, so if I... I think that's how that works. Okay, and then up here, let me get rid of all these. I'm going to have to go... In fact, let's, let's just have a bit of elbow room up here, you know? A bit of, a bit of head room so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, so, we've got all these. We're going to put a redstone on top. Uh, so, I can break that one. That doesn't need to be there. Okay, not like that. <laughs> we will need to go into dispensers, but we'll do that from the bottom, not from the top. So that's all like that. So now if I press this lever, they should all be rapidly beautiful, just as intended. Okay, it's working. It's working, ladies and gentlemen. So I don't think I need to do anything else up here. Maybe just place an extra torch because I don't want anything spawning up here. Did you know, fun fact, in like the, the, the very early versions of Minecraft, like before it was even officially released, they made it so you could... Um, like if a mob walked on redstone, it would break the redstone. So imagine like having any mob spot on your redstone. It would it would be a disaster, wouldn't it? So yeah, that's that one almost done. But obviously we've got to we've got to test it. Or do I do I wait till the end to show you what that one's all about? I'll wait till the end to show you what that one's all about. So let's, let's just you know keep you on your keep you on your toes a little bit. So right here we're gonna have a nice bit of uh, archway, and then the same on this side. So round there, perfect. And then I'm just gonna grab a couple of sea lanterns. One in there, one in there. Okay, I'm not even explaining what this is either until it's done. 
So, but why? Well, yeah, another thing that's very satisfying in Minecraft is to run at high speeds, okay? And that is something that you can do on this uh, blue ice pathway, which, you know, blue ice was not easy to get all of these blue ice. But uh, yeah, if we just go and fill that all the way to there, perfect. And then if you have trapdoors above you, you go even faster, okay? So hopefully this does not take too long to place trapdoors, although it will if I do stupid things like that. But uh, yeah, basically, if you jump under trapdoors, I mean, if you jump under normal, it's it's fast. But if you jump under trapdoors, it's even faster, okay? So that's just something to uh, to know. So we'll go and fill all that in. This is like the fastest travel of running that I know of, I think. So let's go and finish putting all of this. There we go, perfect. So should we give it a quick test? All right. This is the real fast one. Oh, look at that speed. <laughs> Maybe I should have made it longer. It would be more satisfying for longer. I don't know. But anyway, that's uh, that's that. So I think we've nearly built them all. We've just got this ominous obsidian thing here, which, um, yeah, this is the most expensive one to build, that's for sure. But uh, it's also very cool indeed. So we'll go and place some flint and steel. Perfect. Uh, we're going to need a bit of uh, fancy redstone stuff, but it's not really as, it, as you would think it to be, okay? So let's go and grab everything else out of here that we don't need. Okay, we don't actually need that pressure plate there either, but there we go. That doesn't matter. <clears throat> so what we're going to do here, as you can see, two stacks of end crystal. That's a lot of a lot of gas have had to uh, have had to sadly perish for this, but you know what? All worth it. So we're going to have a redstone. Hmm, let's have a think here. Redstone comparator. We're going to need to break you, okay? This redstone here is just so I can like do it quickly. So if we go and hmm. Actually, the redstone comparator needs to come to here. Okay, perfect. And then this like that. Yeah, okay. Beautiful stuff. And then we're going to put a repeater going into here and uh, like that. We're going to go like that. This is just going to be that little clock system. And now that's going to be like that. Beautiful. And then we're just going to be placing loads of end crystals. Okay, this is, should be better named the, uh, the wall of lag. So obviously, I'm going to be placing... 128 of these which is, is gonna look amazing, but is, is gonna take quite a bit of time So uh, when I'm finished with that, I'll be right back. Okay, we just got a few left now and we are done perfect All right now, let's switch you off I have to very carefully now break all of this without breaking the end crystals Otherwise, I will blow myself sky high and uh, these two jack-o-lanterns as well, right? So we'll break you perfect. There we go, but just just look at it guys look at this I mean, that's just un minecrafty, isn't it? It doesn't look like it should be a minecraft, but it is a very Cool thing to look at and look at well, it's just like what is, what is this? I mean it'd be cool if I could do it with even more end crystals It might look even more like completely white, but I think yeah I, I think it just looks cool. It's like some spiky hedgehog thing or something. <laughs> I like it I like it anyway, so we're gonna go and place some glass panes here just to keep it protected We don't want anybody wandering and punching it or something stupid. So let's keep it well Protected there we go beautiful stuff. Okay, the only other one I haven't shown you is this over here. So if we go grab these arrows, okay, yep, that's all, all all the items we need. We go and put a stack of arrows in each one. I'm sure you'll soon get the idea. Okay, is uh, needless to say, don't stand underneath these when they're firing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if we go like this, and if we flick this lever, are they all firing? Looks like it. Yep. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh, I, I need to put these back in the system. I don't want uh, extra arrows in my inventory. Oh, no, no. Okay, so um, Yeah, we just need uh, all of these to uh, to finish firing. Okay. I don't know. Okay. It's finished. Perfect. All right, turn you off Are you ready for this guys? Okay and they're Not as satisfying as it would be on Java because you kind of properly pick them up, but still it's just kind of the wave. There was that many of them. I wonder if I just do like just 64. Will it will it be like less less like rubbish? <laughs> like it's most I found Java is this one, but still pretty cool to pick up those arrows. Um, let's have a little look. We we'll turn it off. Yeah, you kind of just glide on it, but it's still a uh, a pretty satisfying experience, isn't it? To uh, to pick up all these uh, these arrows. You know, pick up loads of items at once. Lovely. Okay, right, we're gonna go and put all these back in though. And uh, yeah, that is my uh, my my satisfying, yeah, well, the room that is full of satisfying things in Minecraft, okay? So uh, let's go and put that there, beautiful. And finally, you in there. Okay, we do need to just get rid of this little thing here. You know, should we keep the water permanently? That is very unsatisfying in Minecraft, isn't it? To, to know that there is a, a random hole, okay? <laughs> you can't even place the concrete right. But 
Oh my god. Can we just can we just you know sort this out? Okay, got stone. Let's 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 get rid of this. There we go. Alright. That makes me feel better now. <laughs> Obviously the game didn't want that to happen. I've used all my items. I have a few slabs left actually. Do you think there's any places where slabs should go that I, I didn't put them? Um oh in here, yeah, I should put some slabs on the side here, shouldn't I? So do 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 it. There we go, because I can't with the amount of slabs I need. Is it the same in here? No, that's all fine. Uh, oh, in here as well. We have nine. Exactly nine. I knew I must have missed some bits. But there you go, guys. So hopefully you did enjoy this video. Let me know if you have any other ideas for satisfying things in Minecraft. Yes, you can get damaged by this, by the way, if you were wanting to know. Very painful indeed. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of proud of this room. I like it. It's just a nice place. You know, if I need to unwind for a bit, I can be like, oh, here we go. Go for a bounce. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's just one of those quirky little rooms in... Uh, in Minecraft. So yeah, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you've got this far in the video and you're not subscribed, then I'm sure you don't enjoy my other videos as well. So click that subscribe button, or press it, tap it, whatever it takes. But uh, yeah guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully I will see you guys next time.